it's time to burn. This has got some chicken breast, uh, no, this chicken thighs. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna demonstrate how I cut it up and uh, make my curry, my curry chicken thigh. So, it's my pre-clean. Right here, I'm cutting off all the excess uh, skin and all. It's just pre-clean. And then I'm gonna I'm thoroughly clean it once I get this big stuff cut off of it. I'll show you how to properly clean the chicken and kill a little bacteria and let the heat kill the rest of it. All right, that's what I do with mine. I grab it and all this skin like that right there. I don't cut all the skin off. I still use it for my curry chicken. And it's got a bone right there. These knobs ain't working right. Hold on, let me get Hector and Jose. Yeah, they said they want, they want to work and they want to work. They get up here lazy. That's Ray Ray and, and Kelvin. They don't want to work today, but Jose and, and Hector, they'll get through there. Uh huh. See, that's what I'm used to right there. Okay. And then I cut it with cook, cooking curry. You want small pieces of chicken. And uh, you don't want the big, you know, real big whole thighs. You want to cut it. Get your fat off of it like that. Want all that extra fat. But every piece of fat I'm going to get off of it. It's just like I said, my pre clean so uh, this part right here is the first process I do with my curry. I cut it up, pre-clean it, and the second process, I get back with you guys and let you know how I thoroughly clean it. All right, this is the second process to me cleaning my chicken for my curry. What I'm doing now, I'm just running water over it and picking off all the obvious fat that was left on it from the first process. I done cut it all up. I got my, my drums and and my thighs. So what I'm doing, I'm just pushing this water through it and, and over top of it. Anything that I can see. Third process is gonna get everything and it'll be ready for the pot. It's a long process when you when you're cleaning chicken. If you clean your chicken within 10, 15 minutes. It's a wonder if you don't end up in the emergency room. E. coli or something. Because uh, it takes me at least an hour, hour and a half. You know, all depending on how much chicken you, you're cleaning too, I guess. But here it is, I have 12 thighs and eight drums cut up and cleaned. But uh, it's okay with me. I mean, I know a lot of people say it takes too, that's too much time. I could have had my chicken done and while you still cleaning, that's fine. It's your prerogative. But me, I'm gonna make sure the food is healthy. And I'm gonna make sure it's not gonna bring forth no illness to you. So that's just me. People give me all kind of flack about my cleaning my grits and all, about how much it took, how much time it took and all that. I'm fine with that. At least I know when whoever uh, consume my chicken or my food, my grits or whatever, I know they're going to be all right. If they get sick, it won't be because of me. I promise you that. You know, people say you run your water too long, taking and using that water like that. That's something we don't have to worry about around here. We got plenty of water. We got plenty of water. And we don't worry about being lit water, nothing like that. And it's coming from the weight. Straight from the weight. Filter. So, you have added on that. But uh, my main concern is getting rid of any kind of dangerous bacteria that can cause a sickness. So, when you eat my food, you can eat it in peace. You won't go to sleep with a little bellyache. You won't wake up with a headache. Of the steps I take to make sure my food is clean. But uh, it's one more process, and I'll come back and I'll let you guys know what that's all. Right here, 
is the last step of cleaning. So what I got is my lemon blend. Concentrate. And I got my salt. So what I do, I take it and put me a couple pieces in the lemon juice. That, what that does, that kill off the bacteria. salt on it. It ain't gonna salt your food up or nothing like that. You just scrub your meat. And you scrub it like that. It cleans it. All that slime and all that's gonna come off of it. And what you do, a little skin right there, it's not fat. Only when curry, I cook my curry, I leave skin on it. cleaning it and put it in the water it won't be no fat floating to the top it's gonna be clear the water's gonna be clear no slime no that. tell him it's the way I learned how to do it everybody do it differently I understand that don't criticize me it's my way you don't have to do it exactly the way I do it just know if you eat something of mine it's gonna be thoroughly clean understand it's like I said it's gonna take a long time and it's a process if you're gonna pr produce good food you got to be willing to take your time I mean, some of the best things the most amazing things on earth like the pyramid stuff like that people took their time and still being admired today on the thousands of years later so that's how I look at things when I cook my food I want you to be able to remember that thing never eat another bite of my food. I want you to remember for a lifetime. Alright, I'm done washing it with my salt, with my salt and uh, lemon juice. Alright, I want you to see this finished result on the washing part. It's all done. Tell me when the last time you've seen some chicken in a bowl of water with no fat or oil floating to the surface. Look at it. Look at it, man. It ain't holding it down or nothing like that. And I still have some of the chicken skin on it. So, you know, that's just thoroughly clean. Thoroughly clean. That's straight water. See, that look like some of my wildlife. Duh. And that salt that I use only, I use this salt only to clean chicken. I don't eat that. I don't consume that. No kind of way. My salt of choice is a pink Himalaya salt. I don't use that. But just, I just want you to look at this. There's a lot of chicken there, huh? It's a lot of chicken. It's me and my daughter. She likes to eat. I like to eat too. But I know my mom and my Papa Harvey gonna come over here and get something to eat too. But I just want you to look at that and admire that clean chicken like that young lady, my sister, online told me. She wanted me to uh, tell her how to clean the chicken, so here it is. I don't know what people be wanting to do. Everything I do is normal to me. So uh, I did that. Anything y'all want to see how I do it, country curling, you just let me know and I, I'll show you how I do it. Because I do things different, obviously. 
you know? And uh, people be like, I called my grandma, and my grandma said she ain't never seen nobody wash no grease or whatever. Well, you gotta understand, your grandma was born in a time the food wasn't like this. It was more pure. We are eating all this food that's made to just keep up with the population. So they grow it real fast. And when, remember what I told you about the old, old dog, old rabbit dog. If he run fast while you're hunting, he won't hunt long. So you have to take your time when you're cleaning this food today. Got to get back to this, people. We'll stay and live a long time based on the fact that you clean your food. You know, I'm going to do what I can to show you whichever way is best. My way, I try to do it the best way I possibly can, but, you know, I know it's different circumstances. Like I said, your grandma was born in a different time. Food ain't the same. So you can ask her and she can tell you, but I don't think your grandma will tell you not to do nothing different. She'll just tell you she never did it before. Well, people gave me so much flack behind washing those grits, talking about their grandma ain't do it and the grandpa didn't do it and they ain't never heard of nobody else doing it. They came from a different place. A different place. And then, you know, we 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 educate ourselves. We can self-educate ourselves by reading and and stuff like that, looking on the internet, which our grandparents didn't have that. So that's enough on that. I'm trying to cook this chicken. And this is the way I do it. I mean, I want you to look at that chicken. Look at it. You tell me that ain't clean. That's clean. You, you won't never see no chicken clean better than that. You might can clean it just like it, but you won't find no chicken to look finer than that when it comes to being clean. All right, hold on. I'm going to show you my, 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 uh, my seasoning. I'm going to go ahead and season it. Bring all the water off of it. Take that, put that back in there, just to get the water out of it. I mean, I take my time when I cook now, I, 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 I do. And a lot of people say, well, why don't you get a restaurant? Why I? I couldn't do it, I couldn't keep up with it. You'd be hungry. I ain't lying, you'd be waiting three, four hours before you get your food. Because I just ain't going to put no, any kind of food out there for somebody to eat. If I won't eat it, I ain't going to let you eat it. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. So, when I do cook, this how it's done. All right, we're going we're gonna to put this seasoning on it. We're making curry chicken here. Country cooling curry chicken. It might not be the way you make your curry. I don't want to hear that either. I'm making the curry the way I make it. All right, we got your, got your uh, paprika right here. Got that. It's supposed to be about two two teaspoons paprika I do it by eye pretty much everything I do I do it by eye uh oh that's about right though right on time now that I know that happened that way I just go ahead and do that from the start hold on that thing that's paprika and not salt because I've been lost my mind this glow is this glow right here Get you about two teaspoons of that clove out of there. I know I'm using that fork. This is my fork. I love my fork. You better believe it. I use a fork on everything. I ain't lying. Let me take that off of here. This is going to be your cumin. You put you about a teaspoon and a half of that on there. All right. You got that. Okay. This is your curry. And normally, around about uh, eight pieces of chicken or whatever, you put about two teaspoons. But me, myself, I put about four with the quantity of chicken I got. All right. One more dash of that. Okay. And then I take, put my mint garlic, put that in there. This is my turmeric. Put you about two teaspoons of that turmeric. Then this is the Himalaya salt that I use. Pink Himalaya salt. And I know it takes a lot of action, uh, energy to turn this thing like this. 
People get lazy, they're just gonna get the box of salt where they can pour it in there. Anything worth having, you're gonna have to work hard for it. And I'm telling you, benefits come with this here salt here, opposed to eating that old white bleach salt. All right, and then you got your peppercorn. I'm gonna churn a little peppercorn on top of it. All right. That's that. And then I got my mixture of margin and coconut oil. Gonna put that over. Put that over. Now I'll take and put my ricochet sauce on. And that's gonna really put it in there right there now. I ain't lying, that's a slam dunk right there. If you're playing basketball. That man comes straight down the middle and dunk on you. And that's what that ricochet sauce do to you. All right, and I got my cayenne pepper. I'm gonna put much of that in there because this stuff is organic. When I tell you, it'll put it to it. It'll put it to it. And that's enough of that. Okay. Then you take and you just put it all in there. Mix it all up in there together. All right. And when I tell you this is gonna be good, I wish y'all can taste it. I ain't lying, I wish you could. Cause you won't never look at chicken the same. It's well clean. It's gonna be well seasoned. And when I tell you, when the top come off the pot, the body's gonna drop. I ain't lying. Be ready to go to sleep. All your sleeping problems be over with. Be no sleep deprivation after this. I ain't you go straight to the bed. Okay. It's the last stage right here other than putting it in the pot. And I'll be back with you in a minute. Country cooling style. Alright. Tomatoes and uh, my bell pepper. I'll put them in there. Make them sizzle a little bit. What I'll do, just take it and put it in there like so. On the top of that. And what's, what I typically do, I put the meat in and pour in the liquids and I'll let it stay on high until it boils. And once it boils, I cut it down. And that'd be setting, uh, I set it in, in cruise control. That's what I call that. Put that thing on around about a four. Uh, in between medium and low. Let it sit there like that. Then what I do is pull in the liquid. When it boils, you don't want it to boil over. So I let it get hot enough to get it to boil. Then I stick the top over, over it, lock her down, and it won't be long then. I'll be working on something else. And that's just about it right there. But uh, I just want to show you uh, putting in the tomatoes and onions and bell pepper. You won't see that until you know till it's done. I won't stir it until it's almost done. Let all that flavor rise to the top. It's the finished result. Got the candy yams, got the brown rice, got them famous biscuits, got my cabbage and veggie, and again, the curry chicken. Country cooling style. Get yourself some.